Hey everyone, Dale here with Pacific Sun Technologies. Today, I wanna to talk about version three of the Tesla solar glass roof and how Tesla is misleading consumers and in my opinion, investors for what they are advertising as a revolutionary solar product. But before I get into it, I'd like to ask that you take a second to subscribe to the channel. Yeah, click that button down below and hit the little bell icon too. That way you get alerts on new videos just like this one. Tesla, Tesla, Tesla. Before we talk about version three, we need to talk about how we got here. And it all started when Elon Musk acquired SolarCity back in 2016 for an insane $2.6 billion. It was an unprecedented valuation for a solar installation company. And it was well known in the industry that SolarCity was on the verge of bankruptcy. Like many other solar installation companies back in 2016, they were in dire need of capital. Thinking back, I think like a total of seven nationwide solar companies went bankrupt and it's not because they weren't selling enough, but because the solar industry is very difficult for a large company to thrive in. But Musk bailed out his cousin, so here we are. What has Tesla managed to do with this acquisition? Well, they've laid off over 20% of the workforce, ended a partnership with Home Depot, and sold off many of SolarCity's assets. And while all of this was going on, Tesla announced its amazing new solar roof to use alongside the new Powerwall 2. Musk boasted about how efficient and advanced the technology was and how they would offer different shapes and colors to appeal to different style homes and how Tesla glass was indestructible. And we all know how that's been. Oh, and they'd be offering a lifetime warranty. Regardless, this never really materialized and Tesla only installed a handful of these first gen systems. And they were primarily installed on employee homes. I think it was a total of seven installed over the course of the two years. I can't recall the exact number, but it was less than 10. Furthermore, Tesla didn't talk about these installations or products much after Musk's initial announcement of the solar glass roof. I've tried looking for spec sheets of version one and two, so I could better compare them to a traditional solar panel, but I've, I've had no luck with that. That's all right, because version one and two are old news. It's all about the new and improved version three. But is it new? No. Tesla isn't revolutionizing anything with the solar glass roof. And here's why. Let me grab this real quick. This, this right here. You should be able to see that. And what's this? This is a solar roof from a, from a competitor? What, how can that be? Solar's the only, Tesla's the only one that's done this. Well, no, this is a solar roof from SunTech. It's almost identical to what Tesla is accepting pre-orders on right now. I mean, mind you, it's not as aesthetically pleasing, I get that, but it's still a tile with solar, pan, with solar cells built into it. But the big difference is there's information on this, whereas there's no information on version three. They say it's a high efficiency panel. They say it's a high wattage panel, but we don't have any information. So like I said, I do admit that the Tesla solar glass roof does look cooler, but this panel is 15 years old. And you know, for something developed 15 years ago, I, I really don't care about aesthetics. And yes, Yes, I said that right, 15 years old. And like I said, it's manufactured by SunTech. And it's offering, are you ready for this? 50 watts of power with an efficiency rating around 10%. Trust me when I say that this is pretty incredible for something this old. I mean, it really is. So I'm gonna set this back. Okay. Now let's compare it to a solar glass roof. Well, I can't because Tesla isn't forthcoming with the spec sheets on the solar glass roof. What I do know is what's on their website. And uh, why don't we take a look at that? Okay, 
So here it is, solar glass roof. It's beautiful solar with no compromise. Hard to know without specs, but yeah, let's continue. It's three times stronger than a standard roofing tile, but if it's anything like the Cybertruck glass, it might be about the same. And 24 seven energy monitoring. Yeah, okay, that, that's a standard feature on every solar system. So let's scroll down. We get to kind of see how it's installed. Oh, this is good. So looking at this photo, I can see them using MC4 connections, which is the industry standard. It appears that there's two for every solar glass, so I'm guessing positive and negative, which again is normal for a traditional solar panel. It looks like they clip into each other and um, there's a channel for the cabling. I can see that some don't have any electrical leads, so I'm guessing those are false solar glass tiles to continue the aesthetic look. You know, I don't really see anything that's revolutionary to what I'm holding right here. I mean, this has clips, they clip into each other. I mean, it, it does the same, it looks about the same, you know? In fact, the Tesla solar glass installs a lot like this solar roof tile. So this is why I wish I had more information on the Tesla solar glass roof, because I know if really solar installers and electrical engineers in the industry could get their hands on it, we'd all quickly see that this product is a sham and um, it's just Tesla branded, you know, crappy solar glass roof panels. But let's scroll down some more and uh, we see Tesla says their solar graph roof provides the lowest cost per watt of any national solar panel provider and is comparable in price to a typical roof with solar panels. Two things. How can you make a statement on the lowest cost per watt when we don't even know the wattage of each tile? And two, it's not comparable in price. And you can skip ahead if you like because I create a bar chart to show you. Now, okay. The next two slides don't really talk about the product, just you know, your standard installation process and monitoring. Okay, okay. Here we go. Specs. Hmm. Still, still no wattage, but we have dimensions and warranties and weather ratings. Not really helpful. Nice, but not really helpful. Uh, the size of uh, one of the solar glass is about the same size as the solar roof that I'm showing you. And uh, so at 45 inches, it's about 45 inches. And the warranty is about the same as uh, materials for a new roof. And the performance warranty, well, it's 25 years. I mean, I don't know what the output guarantee is by year 25. Uh, this panel right here that I'm holding is 80%. So at year 25, SunTech was warranting 80% output out of this 50 watt panel. I don't know what Tesla's is. It's just got a 25 year warranty and that means nothing. So if this tech is so great, why hasn't the industry focused on this? Because it's been around. I mean, solar panels, th this is a solar tile roof. It's been here for 15 years. And the truth of the matter is it sucks. Like it really, really sucks. There's been dozens of solar manufacturers that have tried to perfect this and they all come to the same sad realization. The technology just isn't there and you end up sacrificing so many things to get something to be aesthetically pleasing. Now, mind you, this isn't as nice as a solar glass roof, but it's low profile. It, you literally, it is your roof. So it's still holding the same concept. It's still, I guess, more appealing than a traditional solar system that gets installed on top of your roof tiles. And obviously Tesla knows this technology sucks because what happened to the lifetime warranty they were offering during their announcement back in 2018? What about the different styles and colors to match your home and neighborhood? Oh, that tech didn't work? Was it because there was too many issues in manufacturing and during the installation process? Absolutely, I believe that. And that's why Tesla has waited so long to announce version three. Did you hear about version two? No? Well, go figure, because it was another crappy product. It'd be awesome if this technology worked. It really would be awesome, but it has a lot of issues 
and, and things Tesla isn't even telling you about are there's issues. One being shading. This is a big deal in solar. And in recent years, thanks to innovation, solar companies have been able to create optimization for the solar panels built into the panel and by using special components called optimizers. Now, if you're not familiar with an old school string inverter system, basically you have a group of panels connected together in parallel. This makes for one large panel that connects to the inverter. But there's a huge drawback to this because if one panel gets just a little shade or is underproducing, then all the panels it's connected to in that string decrease to match the one panel. So let me, let me help better explain this. So just imagine you're going to run a marathon and you've trained for this for, for a year or two and your time for this crazy mar marathon is under two hours. Well, imagine there's a sudden change in the rules and you get handcuffed to a person that has never trained and never done a marathon in their life. And you're, so you're stuck running with them. Well, guess what? You're not going to be accomplishing this marathon in under two hours. You'll be stuck at the pace of this person that's never run a marathon and never trained for one in their life. That's basically how traditional string solar panels work. And that's how the solar roof panels work. They connect together. But thankfully, optimizers that, and the technology behind them allows for the panels to act independently from one another. So that untrained person won't be handcuffed to you with a chain, but maybe with a wireless signal. You run at your pace, they run at their pace. No one is affected by the other person. That's not something that appears to be integrated into this Tesla solar glass roof. And if it was, I would imagine they would have talked about it but it's really not built into current panels. I mean, some manufacturers like Qcell, you know, splits the panel in half so that way each half of the panel acts independently. That's kind of optimizing the panel without an optimizer, but you still need a third party component that a solar installation company like ourselves would install during your solar installation. But you can't really do that when there's no racking system with these, you know, it goes right on the roof. And this is a pretty serious setback when you consider how much shade a roof gets from the piping that's on the roof. You have your attic dormer vents, you have plumbing pipes, gas ventilation pipes, and of course, trees and clouds. Yeah, I mean, I think I've done a good job explaining why these solar glass roof panels are bound to fail. But Let's look at the overall cost because I've seen some very misleading YouTube videos that spewed ridiculous roofing figures that honestly made me cringe. I mean, $110,000 for a re-roof of tile? I mean, anybody with their right mind would know that's just false, just misleading information. But, and I, I honestly cannot stand deceitfulness around the solar industry. I mean, there's too many solar companies that have come and gone and, and been dishonest to homeowners and it really, really pisses me off. And Tesla in particular does a lot of misleading advertisement and, and it's really frustrating. But the video, which I'm not going to mention, says the home received the new solar glass roof version three and it was a 9.2 kilowatt solar system with one Powerwall two for 65,000. Now I looked over the video and I can tell the home looks to be around 2,500 square feet. This is important for our roof estimate. So we'll get to that. In the video, they deduct the cost of the power wall to have a cost of just the solar grass roof only, which would be about $57,000. So the power wall was eight grand they, they deducted. So that's a 9.2 kilowatt solar system with a new roof for 57,000. Cool, we have our figures. Now let's compare. I opted for 28 Qcell Duo G6 Black 335. These are really aesthetically pleasing modules, high efficiency, high wattage. I paired them with a Solar Edge system, so they get Solar Edge optimizers and a Solar Edge inverter. Me, a solar size of 9.38 kilowatts. So it's a little bit larger, but that's okay. 
Your estimated cost before a new roof just for this solar system would be around $29,187. Very respectable price for this size of a system, a 9.4. I'm estimating the square footage, remember I mentioned the property to be around 2,500. And like I said, I watched the video several times to kind of come up with this and it looks to be, I mean, it's a single family home. It looks to be around that, that range. A new roof using concrete flat tile is around $6 and 50 cents a square foot, which would give you a total of $16,250. And this is actually on the very high side with concrete tile usually being around 550 a square footage. Now pricing is going to vary depending on your area, but I've been doing this a long time and a price between 450 to $8 is pretty standard depending on the type of roof you have. Composition shingle is the cheapest with slate or clay being the most expensive. But let's add these two figures together. So we have 29,000 for the solar system plus 16,000 for the roof. That equals $45,000 and this is before any tax credits. And you can see the Tesla solar glass roof is nearly $12,000 more, which is pretty significant when you're trying to get the most bang for your buck. I think it's important to note that in most of our situations, homeowners actually opt to only re-roof the area where the solar is being installed. So the re-roof cost is actually a lot less. I mean, less than $4,000 which it doesn't look like you'd be able to do that with the Tesla solar glass roof. And I bet it wouldn't be cost effective. Now I know you fanboys are watching and you're going to go pay that hundred dollars to pre-order your Tesla solar glass because you did it on the first one and you didn't get picked because you know, they really weren't bringing it to market and you didn't know about the second one and wow, you got the third one now and you're going to go pre-order it. Cool. Awesome. Kudos to you. I just wanted to be a voice of reason to let you know that there's not a lot of information regarding their product and the history of the solar roof as a concept right here has been an ongoing failure for over 15 years. For the rest of you watching, visit us online and get a quote for one of our premium solar systems. We're a preferred partner with various manufacturers like Panasonic, LG Solar, Qcells, Enphase, SolarEdge, and so many others. I know we can design a system around your budget that looks amazing and you don't need to get suckered into pay overpaying for your solar system. Get the most bang for your buck from a company you can trust. Yeah, us, Pacific Sun Technologies. Thanks for watching. Until next time.